once in a while we get to do a special element in a service, and that's what we like to do this morning in doing a child dedication. Uh, child dedications are great opportunities for parents to not only just dedicate their child, but really to dedicate themselves. Uh, Psalm 127 verse 3 says that children are a gift, a heritage, a blessing from the Lord. And so not only do parents get to enjoy these gifts, these blessings from the Lord, but it's also a responsibility. It's a stewardship as well. And so these families that dedicate their children, when they come up here, they're doing three different things. And I just want to invite uh, Jameson and Taylor and their crew to come up, and particularly little Remy Vincent James. Come on up, guys. And as they come up, there's three things that they're recognizing here. One is that Remy's a gift from the Lord, and they want to give him back to the Lord for his plans and his purposes. Uh, sometimes as parents, you know, we have our own plans for our kids, but we really want to dedicate these kids to the Lord for his plans. Uh, the second thing is that uh, they want to be able to really commit themselves as parents and their primary role to pray for Remy, to evangelize Remy, to point him to Christ and to disciple him in the Lord. And the third thing, if you're a parent, you know you just can't do this alone. And so the third thing is what they're really doing is inviting us to join them, to, to invite us to pray for Remy, pray and evangelize Remy, and to give them good counsel as parents and to pray for them as parents as they raise up these children. So it's a real community effort here in, in parenting. And so um, little Remy's looking, looking great here. Uh, his name, uh, the middle name's there, Vincent, is named after Jameson's late grandfather. And of course, James is a derivative of his dad's name. So we want to pray for him. And uh, I want to pray for him as well. So let me just pray, and you can hold his hair, and I'll hold on to your dad. <laughs> this is perfect. Okay, <laughs> let's pray. Father, uh, we bless you. We thank you. We pray, Lord Jesus, for this little man, Remy Vincent James. Lord, we do acknowledge and bless you that this is a child that you have given the evidence. And I know there's been many uh, prayers that went into this little man and lots of steps of faith. And we just bless you and thank you for the answering of this prayer and in not only answering prayer, but even uh, confirming your word. We bless you. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for the verse that uh, their parents have given him and want to pray over him from, uh, from Romans 15, verse 13. Lord, where it's emphasizing the fact that you, O oh God, we're praying that he would be filled with all joy and hope in believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. And as a result, we pray, Lord Jesus, that he would be filled with all hope in believing, abounding in hope, and I pray, Lord, that would be a theme all throughout his life, Lord Jesus, in Remy's life. Would he be a man full of hope, hope in the character of God, hope in the gospel of God, hope in the promises of God, that his faith would be fixed on the sure rock of the foundation of Jesus Christ. I pray, O oh God, that you would cause him to know you at a young age, that he would love you with all of his heart, soul, mind, and strength, and that he would point others to the Lord, he would be an encouragement to his siblings, Lord God. I pray, Lord, that he would be an encouragement to his cousins and aunts and uncles and, and relatives, that he would be an encouragement and point people to the Lord from school and at work in the future years. God, I pray your blessing on him all the days of his life, that he would be a bright witness of you. We ask all of this in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen.